Okay, what's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna be going to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. So yeah, this is inside of Sao Paulo, Brazil, inside of Bom Retiro, Retiro uh, neighborhood. So I'm gonna be going over there, but um, I'm looking up the name of it right now because I kind of forgot about it. Um, I think it's called Angora Restauranti. Yeah, it's called Angora Restauranti. It's an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. So I'm gonna be going there. And today's topic, we're gonna be talking about why I love Sao Paulo, Brazil. So I did the Why I Love Brazil video, but this is specifically Sao Paulo. So we're gonna go over um, why I love being here inside Sao Paulo. Been here for almost three months now. So that's gonna be cool. And um, yeah, we're gonna talk about that and I'm probably gonna go ahead and make my way there before it starts raining. Because as you know, it's been raining literally every single day out here. So yeah, it looks like it's about to start raining. It's like, uh, I wanna say it's about five o'clock right now, something like that. Yeah, it's almost six o'clock, but I definitely want to go now so it doesn't start raining. And I've I've been getting done like um, editing my videos and stuff and uploading them really late lately. So that's why I haven't been able to go out like early. But what I'm gonna start doing is start like editing the videos at night, so then I can have a whole day out. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way there. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so on my way to this uh, Korean barbecue place and uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna walk there at first, but I decided to, but I almost forgot <laughs> that area is what they call a uh, crack land, which is where all the uh, drug addicts and the homeless people are. And I, I, I honestly, I forgot that was there. So I'm like walking, I'm like looking at my phone, I look up and then all of a sudden there's like 500 homeless people surrounding me screaming hey because hey, hey. So i still had my camera in my hand i wasn't paying attention but anyways that's all fine i wasn't worried at all i just kept walking but uh <laughs> i wanted to uh, make this video about why i do love sao paulo which obviously that area is a reason that a lot of people don't like that general area right so i'm not saying i like that area i like sao paulo in general as a city <laughs> And um, that particular area, everybody hates it, <laughs> which is understandable. But yeah, I wanted to talk about why I love Sao but I, I figured I would leave that clip in because, you know, there are always negatives and positives to any city you go to. And obviously that's one of the negatives to the city, but that doesn't really describe the city as a whole. So that area, it doesn't really make Sao Paulo what it is. What makes Sao Paulo is the diversity, the cultural diversity. What makes Sao Paulo is the people here. So it's not necessarily that one area that will make or break your opinion on the city. So yeah, me personally, I really do like the cultural diversity here of the city. There's obviously parts of the city that aren't relatively safe, like the one that we've seen right there. But in general, I think it is a good city. When you get, a, when you get away from this particular area, the only reason why I'm in this particular area is because I wanted to go to this uh, Korean barbecue. It's an all-you-can-eat barbecue. Um, it's a really good restaurant because I've seen, the, um, I've seen all the different recommendations on Google and the reviews. They all looked pretty good. They looked pretty decent. So I'm going to go over there and I'll walk over there. But yeah, I wasn't trying to walk through that area. But then I'm already like almost walking through it. I'm like, might as well not turn around because... You know, I'm already almost walking through it at that point. But anyways, almost there. And uh, yeah, just had to cross the street there. But yeah, I'm almost there. I got through the uh, trials and tribulations 
of what they call crack fit. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that doesn't make the city what it is. But I didn't want to cut that part out of the video because, you know, I'm not going to make a biased video. Like, oh, I love the city. Oh, but look, there's this one part that everybody hates. So I didn't want to, you know, cut it out because of that. But yeah, in general, it's a really good city. Very, very multicultural, very diverse city. And that's what I really love about being here. Like you get a piece of every single culture just by going through the city. It's kind of like New York, because if you go in New York, it's very multicultural. Like you have a lot of different people from all over the world in one city, which makes it really good. It makes it really nice. And also it just makes it a really good experience overall. But anyways, I'm almost there to this uh, restaurant. I'm about to go through another uh, hold on one second okay I'm about to go through another area which is a uh, particularly bad so I'm about to put the camera down again but anyways stay tuned So what I also want to do is do a compare and contrast, you know, of the worst part of the city compared to the best part. Well, not necessarily the best, you know, everyone has their own opinion on what's the best. But me personally, I really like Paulista. I really like uh, Feria Lima. I really like, um, there's a lot of different areas that I really like, you know, like I already said, Paulista, Feria Lima, Villa Madalena, Villa Mariana. Like you see all these different areas that I've uh, recorded my videos in. And today, after I eat the barbecue, we're also gonna go over to uh, Paulista. And then I might even go to Villa Madalena and show you, you know, how the city could look if there was more uh, um, attention focused on this area, right? If they tried to clean this area up some more. And it smells disgusting over here. <laughs> but you know, that just comes to what I'm saying because I feel like with enough work on the city, I feel like they can make all the areas good, but it would take a lot of work. But anyways, I'm going to show the good and the bad, the ugly. I'm going to show everything. But anyways, I'm going to keep going to the uh, restaurant here. A lot of people in this area, so uh, I'm about to stop the vlog. Well, not about to stop the vlog. I'm about to put the camera down for a little bit and then um, get situated because I got to look at my maps real quick. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this truck to go by. But um, anyways, the worst thing that could have happened to me in this area just now happened. And don't worry, it's not bad. But the um, wristband to my selfie stick just now broke off. So that was like the only thing keeping it, I guess, from you know just ripping off of my wrist. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find another place to get one of these wristbands at because, like I said. <laughs> whenever you're walking through uh, a bad area it helps to have you know some type of layer of protection so i'm gonna get another wristband or get another selfie stick as a whole but yeah i'm gonna have to find one of those now but it definitely sucks if anyone's wondering what kind of camera i'm using i'm using the gopro hero 9 black so if you want to check that camera out i actually have the link in the description to that camera with an amazon affiliate link so i will get an affiliate commission from that if you do buy it but yeah, I have a feeling link to all the different uh, products that I use, all the different electronics I use. So if you all wanna check those out, definitely check it out because I use pretty good equipment. And um, yeah, check it out if you want to. But anyways, we're almost there to Bon Vertigo. And now we're entering at least a somewhat more safe area than it was way back there. But yeah, stay tuned, we're almost there.
you know i was thinking instead of uh you know instead of finding finding like a whole new selfie stick i'm gonna uh support the community and i'm gonna find a local tailor that will um make one of these uh make like a thread of some kind of handle or something you know but it's something so then i can replace the old wristband that was on my selfie stick so i'm gonna have them like craft something and i'll probably do it inside of the uh brazilian colors that'll be pretty cool but yeah i'm gonna see how they can do that because it's i definitely need something on here this selfie stick i had it for a little while and it's kind of getting uh broken down but it's all right i'll find something um i'll find something to like recreate it but anyways almost there to the restaurant Okay, so I decided to stop inside of this uh, shop here inside of Bom Retiro and I'm gonna see if they can um, get this made for me. They're helping a customer right now. But I'm gonna see if they can go ahead and get this made for me. We are outside inside of Bom Retiro here. So yeah, this is the shop that I'm at. But anyways, I'll see if they can get this made. Oi, tudo bem? Uh, você fala inglês? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, you know if they uh, they can make like a wristband here for this, and uh, like with the threads. What do you want? Uh, this wristband right here for the camera. You want this? Yeah, for like a wristband. What is the, wristband? Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the wrapper um, in like uh, the yeah, Brazilian you, colors. Uh, okay, you might need to improve something. Yeah. There's nothing ready. Okay. Oh, okay. But they could do that though, with the, uh, maybe? No, you have to make it. Oh, I have to make it so but they don't make they it here. they have the needle and everything else. Okay. But let's see. That'll work. Um, um, 40 or 50? Que é o bem grosso? Sabadinho, bem. Não deu 50. 90 nunca recebi. Mas tem. Que daí é mais pra comercial. Okay, so I was able to get the um, wristband on here fixed. I went to that shop, and as you can see here, we have the uh, zillion colors on this wristband now. That's my new wristband. So he was able to do this for me for two AIs, and as you can see, it is uh, holding up well. But anyways, yeah, he was able to do that for two AIs, and I, I'll give his shop a shout out. Big shout out to the uh, lady there that helped me with the, with the English. But um, it's called Loja Grani Loja do Torquimpo. So, as you can see, that is the place right there. So, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, definitely check it out. It's right here inside of Bom uh, Retiro. And I'm going to go ahead and make my way to this restaurant. And, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my way there. Almost there. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. So just like what I showed you all with this wristband, that's another thing that I love about being here inside Sao Paulo. Anything you need, you can find it. And they're really, really handy out inside of this area. But anyways, this Korean barbecue is all you can eat. It's pretty good. This uh, area in general has a lot of Koreans. So I'm gonna go to the Korean barbecue and it's all you can eat. So I know the food's gonna be really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there. And yeah, we'll see how this is. But yeah, this is a really cool area. I like the uh, Bom Retiro area. They were kind of giving me, um, they're kind of giving me like a history lesson saying there's a lot of Bolivians in this area. And they're saying something about slavery, slavery back there inside of that, um, inside of that shop. But yeah, pretty interesting history lesson. But yeah, I'm almost there. So yeah, stick tuned. Okay, so I'm here at the uh, Angor Restaurant. This is the Korean barbecue I was talking about. So I just ordered, it'll be uh, 95 AIs per person. But usually 
you can only come in uh, with two people. So if you, if you come here, remember to uh, bring another person and then you'll be good if you have uh, two people. So yeah, you have to come here with two people because it's an all you can eat barbecue. But um, yeah, I'm gonna test and uh, see how it tastes. I can already tell it's gonna be good. It's really interesting how it's set up. You already have uh, ventilation at the tables and uh, a burner for cooking at the tables. So this should definitely be interesting. But yeah, I'll definitely let you know how this tastes. They have the um, they have the burner turned on. This is a lot of food, so I'm gonna eat. Uh, thank you. Open it up. And um, here you got the guaraná. So I'm gonna go ahead and start eating this. Uh, see how it tastes. Yeah, there's a lot of food here. It's kind of overwhelming. I think that's why they say <laughs> they only do it with uh, two people. So ah, meat. Okay, interesting. I guess they uh, cook it on the uh, burner here. This is number three. This is number three. This is number four. Number uh, five. Number six. Number seven. Okay? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You want to. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, see. Light? Like, like. Ah, yes. Um. One knife? Yeah, okay. Wow, so this is an uh, interesting concept here. Oh, yeah, I definitely come here with a second person. And uh, definitely know some Portuguese, unlike me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm letting this cook. And uh, we'll see how this is. Okay, so I'm about to try this, see how the rice tastes first. Uh, the meat is still cooking, so I'm gonna wait for that. Weird tasting thing. I don't know what this sauce is, but it's weird. All right. So, so far what we got here is this rice. Put that on the plate, got some veggies and some other stuff in it. And this sauce here. Guess we can get some more of everything, right? Some uh, beans. Guess we can put that into the rice here. Get a little bit of everything in here. Uh, I guess might as well get some of this too. It's looking like a full course meal now. All right, so I'm gonna try these. See how this tastes. All right, let's try this. And if you're wondering why I'm not using chopsticks, I'm not too good at using chopsticks. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Time to flip this uh, beef here. 
lots of fat on that beef. I don't like eating too much fat. Okay, so this is a very, very interesting concept. This is probably gonna be a long video because I'm gonna eat a lot of food here. And then I'm also gonna go to um, Paulista to show you uh, the good areas of uh, Sao Paulo. So we're gonna be doing a lot today. Uh, I'll keep trying this stuff though. Okay, so that's really good taste. This stuff right here is um, really good, really good. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, oh yeah, see, see. Um, okay, so I think one of the um, beef pieces are done. So I'm gonna try this piece here. I think they're all done actually. So yeah, I'm gonna try these these beef slices here that they've got. A lot of fat on them, but uh, little fat has never hurt anyone. So there we have it. And then we have this uh, steak here that's cooking. So yeah, now we're gonna try this along with this stuff. I can already say, if you're coming here with a second person, this is definitely where you want to go. It's definitely where you want to go. So let's try this now. Mm. Okay. So far, so good. thin piece of meat but it does taste good there's a lot of fatty pieces on this it's not too big of a fan on but a little bit of fat is always good so here it is more of this now this stuff here tastes really good I, mean, I think it's like the the sauce or seasoning that they use but that's really good now I'm gonna try some of uh, more of the sauce but I'm gonna put it onto the beef to add a little bit more of a taste to it. So we're going to try that now. Mm. Much better. Much better. So far, so good. This beef is really good. It's hard to multitask right now. I'm trying to cook it at the same time while eating, at the same time while uh, talking. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Okay, so I guess this has just turned into a cookie channel. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna keep eating this food. This is so delicious. It's really cool, but I would definitely recommend you to bring someone else. That's why they say a second person. You definitely need a second person while you're eating because it does need to be flipped often. And mind you, there's still more slices of beef to be cooked. But yeah, this is 
100% all I'm gonna be eating while I'm here. I'm not gonna eat anything else. I, I can't eat anything else. But yeah, let's keep cooking this. So yeah, before they bring any more beef, I'm gonna let them know this is all I want. <laughs> this is all I want. There's no more, no more for me. But yeah, I'm gonna keep eating this. This is really good. So I think the beef on there is actually almost done. Ah, this, the fat pieces do not want to come apart at all. I cannot cut this for anything. Yeah. yeah, as you all can see, I'm having a hard time getting this cut. These fat pieces are really like stringy and fatty and uh... All right, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's try. Now I gotta try to uh, cook this. Okay, so, so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna try to pull out the translator real quick. And let them know this is uh, all the meat that I want because um, okay one second <laughs> all righty okay i like my steak well done so it's taking lots of cooking there all right let's keep trying the uh these pieces here they're really fatty so i think i'm just gonna try to eat the whole thing in one bite because they're really hard to cut mm. <laughs> Mm. All right. Okay, so over here we have something interesting. It has some kind of sauce on it, but these are apple slices. I didn't know that. They're slices of apple with something on them. Hmm. It's sweet. It's like apples with mashed potatoes. Anyways, this meat is now finishing. He now put on uh, some pork and bacon slices. Wow, well, this is like carnivore heaven right now. Or omnivore heaven because, you know, there's a lot of veggies here too. Anyways, I'm going to now take some of these uh, pieces of beef off here. Cooked to perfecto. Cooked to perfecto. All right. So I'm gonna try some of this now. gonna leave the other pieces on there no i think this piece is about to burn all right i can't just leave them on there but yeah like i said this is a lot of multitasking right now this is a really big challenge for me at the moment all right so now we're gonna try these pieces here let's go ahead and try that all right kind of hot mm. that is really good that's really good. 
And technically, I cooked that, right? I cooked it, so I'm just cooking right now. <laughs> so welcome to the Marcellus Travels cooking show, where I cook my own uh, beef. <laughs> mm. This is really, really good. Mm. All right, more beef. So next time I come here, I'm gonna have to bring a Brazilian with me because, yeah. Oh wow. These are really fatty pieces. I don't particularly like meat with lots of fat on it. So I'm gonna make sure I overcook this uh, pork. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely make sure this pork gets overcooked. So and then it's not all chewy and it's more so crunchy. But anyways, I'm gonna try some of these more of these uh, steak pieces. Mm. I definitely don't regret coming here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so like I was saying before we walked over here, this is another reason why I love uh, Sao Paulo. It's always an adventure here. There's always something to do. And you find places like this, there's a lot of different cultures, a lot of different foods. This is an all you can eat Korean barbecue. Next, I wanna try all you can eat, um, all you can eat Brazilian barbecue. So that's what I wanna try next. But you know, you know I always have to have the guarala. I always have to have to get the uh, Brazilian sodas. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna keep cooking this and then I'll bring the camera back once it's cooked. And then we're gonna try some of the veggies too. But yeah, stay tuned. And also this stuff here is uh, really good. Really tasty, really delicious. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so now my probably favorite piece of meat that's gonna be here is this. He said it's beef ribs, so that's what that, all that is. He said all that is beef ribs, so that's what's gonna go on next after this pork. I gotta eat this steak though before the pork's done. That's why I have somewhere to put it. So, let's get this steak. Let's get this steak cooked. Muy delicioso. Yeah, I had my camera too close and it got a bunch of grease on it. But anyways, here we have the uh, beef. So now the beef, uh, beef ribs are cooking. So they're cooking really fast. So that should be delicious. It kind of looks a little, uh, I think I'm gonna need to pull out a lens wipe. Got a bunch of grease on the camera lens, but uh, anyways, it's good. But yeah, this should be done soon. So I want you all to compare the, por the portions here compared to like places like um, Tereceo Italia. Like if you if you compare the portions, over here is much better. The portions and what you get for the price. So 95 AIs per person. So um, it's much better than um, the overpriced restaurants, you know, like Tereceo Italia. Like look, there's even more beef coming in now. We have all this here. We have all this and all this. Uh, for 95 AIs per person. 
So I would definitely recommend to come here because it's really good. The beef is really good. But yeah, so far so so good. Everything's tasting good. There's even more beef waiting to be cooked over there. I have uh, veggies. So yeah, it's an all-you-can-eat Korean buffet or Korean uh, barbecue. But I'm, I'm not going to be able to finish the first round of meat. Like this is the first round of, uh, of all the meats and stuff. And if anyone's wondering, like in US dollar, I think it's like 17 or 18 US dollars for uh, all this all-you-can-eat food. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And um, yeah, everything is going very, very well. But I'm gonna keep eating this and then um, I'm gonna keep flipping the food as well because as you can see, just changed the plates out here. But anyways, I'll let you know how this uh, beef, these beef ribs taste. So this is the moment I've been waiting for. I really wanted to try this, uh, the beef ribs, or like boneless beef ribs. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, and then um, I'll show you all what it looks like after I get this cut. So a small edible piece. All right, so here we got it. So here it is, boneless beef ribs. So we're about to taste this. Let's go ahead and get this taste test going. Hmm. Mm, really tender lots of flavor wow you gotta think this is fresh off the burner fresh off the burner so good my hair just now dipped into something it's all right i'll wash it <laughs> anyways that's really good wow wow that's really good I'm just gonna eat this whole piece because how good it is. Mmm. So good. Mmm. No, you can always say uh, teriyaki. Teriyaki seasoning. I think that's my. What it is. Mmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is teriyaki. Oh, is this a uh, teriyaki sauce? Huh? Uh, teriyaki? Uh, I don't know. Teriyaki. Uh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the seasoning in the sauce is a uh, teriyaki sauce. But yeah, it's really, really good. This might be my favorite restaurant I've been to in Sao Paulo. And I'm definitely gonna try some of the Brazilian um, all-you-can-eat places. Because I know a lot of people have said that the Brazilian ones are actually really good as well. So I'm gonna try that because as you can see, I eat a lot. I love all-you-can-eat buffets like this. So it's a perfect match. Shout out to everyone in the uh, comments recommending me to go to all-you-can-eat. I'm gonna try this piece here now. This is so good. So the only thing I haven't tried now is um, this over here and some of the other stuff in the back. I don't really eat onions like that, but I might try some or I might try to like roast the onions or something and put them on there. Yeah, I don't really eat onions, but I'm going to try something new. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep eating this and also continue to cook these 
I mean, the pork has been on there for a while, so I'm pretty sure it's probably like cooked by now. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll give this piece of pork a try. I prefer my pork like very well cooked, very well done. And uh, let's try that though. Let's see how the pork is tasting. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so the pork is pretty good too. I don't taste any fat. That's why I put the um, that's why I put it on there for so long. So I wanted to cook very thoroughly. And as you can see, it's very thoroughly cooked. I wanted to cook a little bit more though, because I like my pork to be very well done. Over here, flipping some of these other meats. So everything looks good and tasty. And uh, these are more slabs of beef here. Beef ribs to be exact. So yeah, we'll wait till that gets done. I'm definitely not the professional here. But I um, guess I'm going to try some more of this beef here. All right, so we're going to try this here. Mm. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna get to eating some of this other stuff and then I'll bring the camera back out for these here. Try all that. And I don't know, this video, it might be too long for me to go visit Paulista and Ferry Lima. That'll be like an hour plus video. But um, I don't know, I might visit uh, Ferry Lima and Paulista on a different day. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so this here is some type of melon. Some type of fruit. It's like a sliced fruit of melon. Tastes really good. Everything so far tastes good. I see onions back there, which I don't want to taste, but everything else is really good. Mm. And then you have the apple slices right here with mashed potatoes on them. And there's also corn on it too. Hmm. Very large mixture of taste. Um, I think this piece of pork may be done. I think it's been done. I'm just being picky about how crispy I want it. It doesn't get any more crispy than that. <laughs> uh, got this here. That's done. And I want this piece here of pork. But I like the beef to be like well done, so taking some of the pork off now but yeah beef i prefer to be well done so i'll wait for those and i uh, guess i'll try this piece of pork right here mm. very good very good and then rice mm. So this is all very good. Mm. Okay. One thing I haven't touched is all the um, veggies back there. So I'm gonna get that too. But yeah, these fruits, like this stuff here is really good. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. Now I think so far this might be the best restaurant and that's for like value. Like if you think about it, like everywhere else I went, like 
Palacio Italia, and countless other places that had extremely high prices with extremely small portions. But this, 95 AIs per person, all you can eat, does not get any better than that. So, definitely very pleased with this. Mm. Pork is really good. Mm. More beef, more beef. Mm. I'm definitely gonna need to eat some of those veggies though. Help digest this. I'm gonna need that fiber. <laughs> So, so far, I'll show you everything I cleared. All that was full of beef. All that was full of beef. That's just some sauce. And this is a little bit of beef I left on the plate. Almost all the rice is gone. The apples, all that's gone. The apples with mashed potatoes, the collard greens with, the, um, with all the peppers on it, it's all gone. I actually found out that these right here, the roasted peanuts, so the roasted peanuts are almost all gone. That's some type of sauce. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try to taste it. See how it tastes. I think some of this beef is actually done over here. Yep. So we got this right here, now I'm done. Uh, what else we got? We got this over here, now done. Uh, this piece is now done. And I think these pieces are pretty much done. It's all done actually. That's good. Yeah, this is all the beef I'm gonna need for today. No more. I have this flipping over here. Uh, all the pork that I have over here, I just kind of been letting it cook. I like the pork to be extra crispy. So, like this piece right here. This is how I like all my pork. Extra crispy. And everything else, I'll just let that cook. Yeah, this is this is almost like a cooking video at this point, right? <laughs> but yeah, I know this video is probably getting really long. Hmm. That's good. I swear, it's like teriyaki sauce. The guy didn't know what I was saying because he speaks Korean and Portuguese. But yeah, I swear this is teriyaki sauce on here. So good. Mm. 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 So delicious. Mm. Okay, so they brought out more beef here, as you can see. More beef. But I told them uh, no more beef. This is pretty much all I need. Mm. But yeah, I said no more. I'm gonna finish eating all of this. And then I will be on my way. And yeah, I still have a lot to go. So I'm gonna finish eating this. But yeah, I'll, I'll put the fast forward clips in now. So I started to eat the veggies now. It's so bitter. But yeah, I put some of the um, the melon slices in there, the green peppers, the um, the garlic clovers. So yeah, I, I, I ate almost everything. So as you can see, empty plates all over the place. Got this empty. Still have all of those veggies, uh, pork slices, but everything else. Uh, oh. Still have some of that, some onions. So whatever that is, the onions and then the sauce. 
<laughs> yeah, I pretty much almost ate everything. I'm really getting full at this point, but yeah, I told him I can't eat any more food, but I'm gonna finish what I have here. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I couldn't finish the uh, beef and all that, but I'm gonna go out on a healthy note here. So the last thing we're eating here is the salad. So I already had all the beefs. As you can see, I ate all this food. I'm definitely gonna have to go to the gym. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be running for miles. Like, usually when I go to the gym though, I'll go for about an hour and a half speed walking on the incline. And it usually ends up burning like 800 calories, so I'll do that for about an hour and a half and uh, call it a day. But yeah, this this was a lot of food. Like, and to thank all for 95 AIs, obviously I got two drinks and then I just got this beer. So it's gonna be more than 95 AIs because I got the drinks. But just for the food alone, 95 AIs, pretty good. Cheers to everyone out there and um, probably not gonna have much time to go um, Paulista or Ferio Lima today but I'll probably make my way to there tomorrow and then I'll have a part two video of why I love Sao Paulo and then do it like part two so I guess we can do that because this video would be like an hour and a half if I added all that in but anyways yeah stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and finish this I'm gonna make my way home I don't know if I'm gonna have the camera out on the way home because you already know <laughs> but anyways stay tuned Okay, so I can't eat anything else, but I ate almost everything. So <laughs> you can see here, all of these, almost all of them are all empty. And I ate all of the uh, veggies there, all of the veggies, and then I could not eat this thing. But yeah, that was that was a lot of food. Definitely come over here with a second person. But um, I would say all in all, like with the portions and everything, that's like a 10 out of 10. And that is no lie, it's just 10 out of 10. But anyways, I'm gonna make my way home now. Uh, for real this time, after I finish this uh, here, obviously. This is a video talk. But I'm gonna finish this and make my way home. And I guess I'll give a formal review on the way home. And then from there, we're gonna have a, uh, part two of this video coming out the next day. About uh, Wild of Sopalo. So we're gonna have a whole part two. But anyway, shout out to you all. Uh, stick around to the formal review on the way home. Okay, so I'm done eating at the uh, restaurant now. Something just flew in my eye right there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm done eating at the restaurant now. It was so good, so much food. I can hardly walk right now, like my stomach at least poking out two feet so far. <laughs> anyway, that was really good. Uh, total with the drinks, it came out to 125 AIs. It would have been only 95 AIs if I didn't have drinks. Sorry, my stomach is like, my stomach is so cool right now. Like, I'm trying to like walk, but then hold in the indigestion. But yeah, like I said, 125 AIs, all you can eat, 95 AIs for the all you can eat. And then the extras, if you want those extra drinks, I had two uh, guaracas, and then I had a cerveza antarctica. So I had those three drinks and the all you can eat in total like i said came out to 125 guys which is pretty good you know considering when i went to tres Italia, it cost me like what 200 something AIs. so if you compare that to what i just now had there and the huge portion that i just now had like there's no comparison comparison there so yeah like i seen someone comment in the comment sections earlier mentioning how for some reason Oh, hey, YouTube, oh yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Ah, see. <laughs> There's someone. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, yeah, like I was saying though, like if you compare it to Teresio Taria to what I just now had, the portion was just so large, and uh, yeah, it was a gigantic portion. So that was really, really good. And like the food, when they give it to you in Teresio Italia, they give you the smallest amount of food, literally. They give you the smallest amount of food for the most money. And I've seen someone mention in the comment section how they see the same thing happening across El Palo. Like <laughs> the restaurants that are look the most fanciest, they always give you the least amount of food for the most amount of money. Like it never seems to fail. But yeah, that place was pretty good. Pretty cool place. 
But anyways, I'm gonna continue to walk home. I'm starting to uh, enter, if you know, the danger zone. <laughs> so from here, going into uh, Luz and through that whole area, you know, that they like to call crack land. So I'll probably end up putting the camera down in a few. But shout out to everyone. Shout out to all the followers and subscribers. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video here. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section any type of uh, recommendation that you have for me definitely go ahead and send through those recommendations and uh <laughs> if you're wondering why i look uh, some the guy had his like hand behind his back i was like why you got your hand behind your back <laughs> but no he's just, just walking but anyways shout out to you all i'm gonna come back with another video and as always yep i'll be back with another one so uh, stay tuned <laughs>